All right, Devon, I got two questions. First, um, how do you feel after 38 carries and 220 yards? Um, I feel very action. You know, um, when I was talking to Coach Fisher, he was capable of asking me, like, I'm okay. You know, I was good, you know. Like I said, his last game, so might as well put everything on the line. How important was it to you to come back and play in this last game? Um, it's very important, you know, just one important to me, you know, just important, you know, just for the seniors, you know, not just for myself, you know, just basically like my team, my teammates and stuff. But, um, you know, me coming back, you know, just basically wanted to give my seniors, you know, a great last game, you know, at Kyle Field. So um, that's what I – that was just my whole, like, little motivation to try to come back. We'll stay on the left side and go to Alex Miller, second row. Got a couple for you, Devon. At what point in the week did you know that you were good to go this week? Um, I'll say, like, um, my first practice this week was, like, Wednesday. So um, I did like a little running, you know, a little cutting, just basically see where I was at. You know, it was, you know, it's obviously gonna still hurt, but you know, I, it's just pain that I can play through. And was it your foot that was bothering you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, <clears throat> what did that, what did that last touchdown mean to you? I mean, you don't really show a lot of emotion, but it looked like you kind of turned and gave him a little like it, it's over kind of deal. Um, you know, just th just the excitement, man. You know, just you know, just. You know, just playing in front of the 12th man, you know, just being in that in that atmosphere, you know, just out there, you know, just having fun. You know, that's basically just what that was. Well, and, and then, you know, as, as you kind of mull about your future, what's going to go into that decision of, you know, what's next for you, whether it's to stay or potentially go? Um, you know, it's going to be a very hard decision. Like I said, you know, I love 12th man, you know, um, so it's just something that I just have to go discuss, you know, with Coach Fisher and you know, my, my parents. We'll go back behind the lights on the right side. Devon? Devon kind of going off of that uh, – if this was your last game at Kyle Field, what do, you, what do you think, you know, with hindsight, it will mean to you to have gone off with this kind of performance? Um, no, I, I think, you know, I had a great performance. You know, um, you know, I also want to congratulate, you know, my O-line, you know, everybody who was on, that, all 11 guys who was on, on the field. You know, just like I said, it's just not me out there. It's a whole team. And, you know, also congratulate defense because it's always a good thing when the defense can also put up points. So we all played a big part in this win today. We'll stay back behind the lights on the right side. Devon, at what point in the night did you realize LSU wasn't going to have much success stopping you on the ground? Um, you know, like I said, we went to halftime. You know, we came back out. You know, they our first first little drive after the halftime. You know, we ain't, we had three and out. You know, but um, we we didn't lose focus. We knew that we could run the ball, so you know, we just kept going with the run. And you know, basically like the passes. You know, they came open eventually. Like I said, Evan and Moose made great catches. You know, they just us as a team. You know, just connecting. We'll stay behind the lights and go to the left side to Daryl. Devon, I have two questions for you. First, just on becoming a thousand yard rusher, I think you needed a hundred and something to get to that, and you surpassed that and then some. Uh, yeah, I needed 113 yards. And um, so when I hit 113, you know, my coach, my running back coach, um, Coach Tiro, you know, he just kept pushing me, you know, just, just telling me, you know, um, okay, let's see if you can get more. Or like this, you know, just, just basically just giving me more goals. You know, I'm just out there, you know, just playing, having fun. And then can you talk about the catches that Moose made and then maybe work in the fact that, you know, Connor played a very intelligent, smart, didn't give the ball up kind of ball game for you guys tonight. Um, like I said, Moose made a great catch. You know, if y'all would see Moose at practice, like he always making one hand catches. So it wasn't it wasn't like a surprise, but it's something like I knew he could do because he always doing it. Like at practice, you know, coach always yelling at him, put two hands on the ball, but if he catching them, you know, I ain't got a problem with him doing it. And um, like I said, Connor played a great game as well. You know, uh, we didn't have no turnovers, and that's good. You know, he just, like you said, he's uh, giving everybody, the playmakers, a chance. And that's what he was out there doing, making smart runs, get, pick up big first downs. You know, um, that's what we need out of a quarterback. So he was out there. We all have played a great game. We'll go front row on the right side to Cole and then Travis. Devon, we don't know if this is your last game or not, but if it is, for you to be able to be sworn by a bunch of 12th men rushing the field is the last thing that you will remember walking out. How special is that? Uh, that's very special. You know, um, like I say, I don't even know how many pictures I took on the way to the locker room. You know, just basically everybody rushing me, you know, um, you know, just a lot of love, you know, just a lot of, you know, everybody just enjoying the moment, you know. Um, so, like I say, you know, I love to man. You know, I'm happy that I can, you know, if this was my last game, I'm happy to, you know, leave with a great performance that I did. You know, um, so basically, you know, like I said, I decide to, you know, let, you know, time is coming. And then what's the future say about Connor leaving this offense? Um, he said a lot, you know, like you said, he a freshman. He got a lot of years. So um, basically, you know, based off what he did this year, you know, you see his growth that he can become way better. You know, you always can learn and you know grow in certain certain um, aspects of, of your game. So basically, I just want to see you know next year how like the leadership you know the, the role that he took on as a freshman. You know that was great of him. You know, so basically, I just want to see next year and what what he has to bring. And then I know Jalen Preston's going to have a bowl, but are you going to have a bowl of cornflakes later? 
<laughs> nah, no cornflakes. We'll stay front row on the right side with Travis and then Alex. Uh, with um, how, how important was it to the offense to not only have you back, but also have Evan and, and Connor back all together? I think this is only the second time that y'all have all been together. Um, it was great. You know, like you said, you know, me and Evan, you know, we was talking. You know, I, I knew I was going to be able to come back, but I didn't know where he was, like, in his little situation or whatever. So I was always talking to him, you know, make sure he was locked in, you know, just, you know, just staying in his head, make sure that, you know, he was ready to play, you know. If he wasn't, you know, I would have still, you know, just, you know, basically just make sure he, his head was still in the game, obviously. And, you know, with Connor, like you said, he had an incident earlier in the year. So, baby, I'm just glad, you know, we all on the same page. You know, I always be able, everybody was healthy and to come and finish the last game for these seniors. Yeah, what what was your injury and, and what percentage would you put yourself at for this game? Um, I had a foot injury. I mean, I was I was I was I was 100. percent You know, it wasn't hurting as much, you know, but obviously, like when somebody like twisted my ankle, or, like fell on it, so I also I, I felt it a little bit. You know, I saw they had to take like a play or two off. You know, just cool cool down the aching that it was doing. And then finally, uh, with the girls' two SEC wins, uh, Damani had a big scoop and scored touchdown in both. What is it about him that he seems to find himself in those positions to make those plays when y'all need him? Um, you know, like I said, like the defense um, as a group, as a unit, you know, because if Coop ain't making fumble, you know, Damani would be there and make that play. Or if when he was at Arkansas, Rick ain't catch the, um, fum uh, like the fumble, he would make the play. So like I said, that defense as a unit, you know, like they all, they all play together. You know, basically like Damani as a senior, and like I said, you know, we was out there trying to get him, like, the best game that he had. You no, know, this is the last game at Caulfield. So, basically, just, you know, him out there enjoying the moment, having fun, you know, that's, that's what you want to see. We'll go second row on the left side to Alex and then wrap it up with Daryl. You know, Devon, given everything that's happened this year, just the dis disappointments that you've had uh, and, you know, knowing that this was it, what, what did the win tonight just really mean to you guys? Um, you know, it, it just showed – like what, what 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 type of team we could be in the future? You know, basically just you know showing that you know we if we come to play the type of team we can be, and you know, basically just saying just showing like the, and everybody you know it, you know like you said this it wasn't a season that we wanted, but to come out and play against a top five team on your last game is awesome. And, you know we came out to win, so basically just showing what the future can be of Texas and We'll go back behind the lights on the left side to Daryl. Devon, you answered my question with the reply to Alex, so thank you. Thank you. All right, that's it. Thank you, Devon.